Do you consider yourself a well-traveled person? Well, no matter how many stamps you've got in your passport, we bet that you haven't visited these forbidden locations. Yep, these mysterious destinations are strictly banned for tourists, and only a select few people on this planet have ever stepped foot within their boundaries. Um, 28th of January, and it's negative 40 degrees. Celsius and Fahrenheit, it doesn't matter anymore. The question is, would you even want to visit these terrifying locations? Let's face it, they are prohibited for a very good reason. From the apocalyptic vault located in the middle of the Arctic to the brand new island that burst out of the ocean just 60 years ago, these are 20 forbidden places you're not allowed to visit. <laughs> Silence Tower Ah, the mysterious and captivating Dakma. Also known as the Tower of Silence, nobody in the world can visit this place, and here's why. This 300-year-old circular structure is a true testament to the ancient customs of the Zoroastrians. This religious group believes in excarnation, which is the exposure of human corpses to the elements for decomposition. Skeletal remains are gathered into a central pit where further weathering and continued breakdown occurs. It certainly is a strange custom, but a fascinating one nonetheless. With three rows, one for the men, one for the women, and one of the innermost for children, the tower stands 25 feet high and is built of brick or stone, containing gratings on which the corpses are exposed. A small structure called a bungli within the premises is where prayers are recited before the body is carried to the dakma by special caretakers known as kanandias. This intriguing and sacred structure is nestled deep within a 54-acre forest on Malabar Hill, Mumbai, where the bodies of deceased Zoroastrians are placed and exposed to scavenger birds, as per their beliefs. Truly a fascinating and unique practice. Remind us to never visit this literal death trap. Snake Island If you're looking for adventure, look no further than the Ilha da Quemada Grande otherwise known as Snake Island, located 20 miles off the coast of Brazil. This notorious destination is not for the faint of heart. Home to some of the most venomous snakes on the planet, this island is off-limits to humans. It's reported that the Golden Lancehead Viper, an incredibly dangerous snake, can melt your flesh right off with its venom. And if that wasn't enough to make you stay away, there are approximately 5 snakes per square meter on the island. Yikes! In fact, around 4,000 deadly vipers that call this rock home. It's no wonder that the Navy patrols the island to make sure no one steps foot there. It's said that the island was inhabited until the 1920s, when the lighthouse keeper and his family were terrorized by the killer vipers. So, if you're looking for the ultimate thrill seekers destination, you might want to look somewhere else. Come on, does anyone really want to visit a snake infested desert island on their vacation? We definitely don't. Area 51, Nevada Ah, the mysterious Area 51. The US government has a not-so-interesting nickname for it. The Nevada Test and Training Range. Part of the Nellis Air Force Base, but in an effort to make the facility sound more attractive to their workers. They called it Paradise Ranch, of course. This was shortened to The Ranch. Other monikers include Watertown and Dreamland. Yep, some people actually call Area 51 Dreamland. Who knew? Located 120 miles northwest of Las Vegas, this place is heavily restricted with armed guards patrolling the perimeter, and no one can enter the airspace without permission. Area 51 has long been a source of fascination for seekers of the unknown. With conspiracy theorists and paranormal enthusiasts believing it to be the place where the US government stores and hides alien bodies and UFOs, in fact, the popular UFO conspiracy that in 1947 remains from a crashed flying saucer in Roswell, New Mexico, were brought to Area 51 for research and reverse engineering. A recent poll by YouGov found that 54% of US adults think it's likely the government has more to say about UFOs than they're letting on. Who knows what secrets are hidden away in Area 51? The truth is out there. Surtsey Island, Iceland it was a fateful day in 1963 when the seafarers of Iceland spotted a great undersea eruption. This volcano sent ash soaring up to a height of 30,000 feet in the sky, and it was even reported that it could be seen on clear days as far away as Reykjavik. 
What rose out of the depths was the incredible Surtsey, a new volcanic island named after the fire-possessing giant of Norse mythology. Now this remarkable place has been added to the prestigious UNESCO World Heritage list. The Surtsey is not only one of the world's newest islands, but the most filmed and researched, and one of the most restricted. Since its emergence, researchers have kept a close eye on Surtsey. Few are allowed to visit the island, and special permits are only granted for scientific research, making it one of the most restricted places in the world. It has become the most filmed and researched island on the planet, offering a magical insight into how a new island evolves. By 1987, 25 species of higher plants including tomatoes had been observed, transported there by seed in the sea currents, some from a nearby island, others from the southern Icelandic coast 40 kilometers off. Other species of plants have been carried there by the winds or birds from Europe. The sole human impact on Surtsey is a small fabricated hut complete with bunk beds and solar-powered electronics such as an emergency radio. It also has an abandoned lighthouse foundation, a truly remarkable place. Surtsey will long remain a fascinating example of nature's power. Sadly, unless you are a scientist, you probably will never be allowed to visit the island. We've got to admit, Surtsey isn't at the top of our travel list. Svalbard Global Sea Vault, Norway Deep in the frozen bowels of an icy mountain, on a mysterious island between Norway and the North Pole, lies something of utmost importance for the future of humankind. It's not coal, oil, or precious minerals, but something even more valuable, seeds. The Seed Vault is the universe's ultimate insurance policy for the world's food supply, containing millions of seeds from all over the world. It's the farthest north you can fly on a commercial airline, and besides the town of Longyearbyen. It's a vast wide expanse of frozen nothingness. To ensure optimal storage of the seeds, the temperature must remain at a steady negative 18 degrees Celsius. Permafrost and thick rock act as fail-safes for the seed samples, keeping them frozen even if the power were to go out. The seeds are sealed in three-ply foil packages, and then stored on shelves inside the seed vault, with a capacity to store 4.5 million varieties of crops each packet holding an average of 500 seeds, up to 2.5 billion seeds can be preserved in the seed vault. Currently, the seed vault contains more than 1.1 million seed varieties, coming from almost every continent in the world. These range from African and Asian staples such as maize, rice, wheat, cowpea, and sorghum, to eggplant, lettuce, barley, and potato varieties from Europe and South America. In fact, the Seed Vault is now home to the most diverse collection of food crop seeds in the entire world. Yes, the Seed Vault may be shrouded in mystery, but unless you're a very important person, you'll never get your hands on one of these seeds. Forget gold and jewels, these are the real treasures of the world. Think about it, where on earth would we be without seeds? Ize Grand Shrine Japan When it comes to sacred religious sites, there's no beating Japan's Ize Grand Shrine. Dating all the way back to the 3rd century, this Shinto shrine is considered the spiritual home of the Japanese people and their national religion. Inside you can find the sun goddess Amaterasu enshrined in the inner shrine, which is held in higher reverence than the outer shrine due to it being the home of the sacred mirror of the emperor. Given to the first emperor of Japan by the sun god herself, it's no wonder this shrine is one of the most important and holiest sites of the country. As you walk through the gravel paths to the various shrine buildings, you can't help but feel the amazing atmosphere of the place. You're surrounded by green Japanese cypress trees and wooden shrine structures, part of it hidden behind wooden fences. This inner sanctum can only be entered by members of the imperial family and select shrine priests, and the head priest or priestess must come from the imperial family. And if that wasn't enough to add to the mystic of the place, you're not even allowed to take pictures of the main shrine buildings. Yes, there's a whole lot of intrigue that surrounds the Ize Grand Shrine. So unless you're a head priest, you might want to reconsider visiting this most important location. If your name's not on the list, you're definitely not getting in. Nihau Island, Hawaii, United States Welcome to the mysterious, elusive, and forbidden Isle of Nihau. For the past 157 years, this 69 square mile island has been restricted to its 70 full-time residents and their families, or to those who have been lucky enough to receive a coveted invitation from the family who has owned the island since 1864. 
It's no wonder why it's called the Forbidden Isle. There are no paved roads, hospitals, police stations, grocery stores, or indoor plumbing. Residents rely on rainwater catchment systems for water and a handful of solar panels for electricity, getting their meals from the land by hunting, fishing, or farming. The Sinclairs who purchased the island in 1864 committed to maintaining Nihau's Hawaiian culture, and their descendants, brothers Bruce and Keith Robinson, still own the island today and have continued to protect it from outside influences. Bringing alcohol, tobacco, or guns onto the island is strictly forbidden and risks eviction. And in the past, the family has even required all residents to attend church on Sundays. The island earned its forbidden status in the 1930s, when the Robinsons completely cut off visits to Nihau to protect inhabitants from new diseases, including measles, and later polio. Nihau is only the place in the world where Hawaiian is still the primary language, and aside from the Robinson family and their relatives, U.S. Navy personnel, government officials, and invited guests, the island is off-limits to all outsiders. Since 1987, however, a limited number of supervised activity tours and hunting safaris have opened to tourists, offering a rare glimpse of this mysterious forbidden isle. Murney Diamond Mine This epic eastern Siberian mine is one of the largest holes ever dug by humans on this planet. It's even thought that this gigantic void is so big that it creates a deadly air vortex effect, and is capable of sucking helicopters and planes down into its abyss. While this has never happened, the airspace above the Murney mine is strictly off-limits, in case tragedy strikes. At more than 1,722 feet deep, with a diameter of 3,900 feet, this colossal excavation is the fourth deepest hole in the world. And a mine this deep has produced a whole lot of diamonds. In fact, it's thought that roughly $18 billion worth of diamonds have been mined right here. When they first struck an igneous rock known as Kimberlite at the Murney Mine, they knew that rare and precious diamonds were to be found beneath the ground, and set work to digging this mega hole. But digging the mine was no easy task, working through a brutal Siberian winter that lasts seven whole months and temperatures that drop well below zero. Equipment would often break down and the whole mine would have to be covered up at night to prevent everything from freezing solid. We think it's safe to say, however, that all that hard work really paid off. We're not sure that any tourist is even remotely tempted in visiting this vacuous mine on their vacation. But if they were, they might find that they'd made a completely wasted journey. Pravsichka Brana the Pravsichka Brana is a remarkable rock formation in the Bohemian Switzerland, in the Czech Republic. With a span of 26.5 meters and a maximum width of 8 meters, it's the largest natural sandstone arch in Europe, and a true wonder of nature. Unfortunately, due to the heavy erosion of visitors, it's been off limits since 1982. But don't worry, the entire terrain is in private ownership, and you can still visit it for a small fee. Of course, you can't step foot on the arch, that's completely out of bounds. Despite its impressive size and weight, this incredible arch has been standing for over 100,000 years. Scientists are shocked that it's still standing, and they believe it was formed on the bottom of the sea by gradual settling of sand, erosion, and subsequent weathering of the rock. So what about if you want to stay at this highly protected destination? Well. In 1881, Prince Edmund of Clary Aldringen built the hotel Sokoli Inzo, meaning Falcon's Nest, with 50 beds. Accommodation fit for royalty. The Pravchika Brana was even featured in the Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. If it's good enough for Hollywood, it's good enough for us. Although the rock arch looks very strong and firm, it's actually quite fragile. So make sure to be careful when visiting. Kivu Lake, Congo Divided along the border of the Democratic Republic of Congo and Rwanda, Lake Kivu is famous for being one of Africa's Great Lakes. However, it is also famous for another unfortunate reason. The 2700 square kilometer lake sits by a string of volcanoes pumping carbon dioxide into the water, saturating Kivu with dangerous methane gas. If this volatile gas is disturbed even slightly, it could potentially release a killer fog into the lakeshore communities smothering everything and anyone it passes. This toxic gas can knock you unconscious or even kill you in your sleep. And with as many as 2 million people calling Lake Kivu their home, experts are scared that this gassy lake could spell disaster. 
In fact, experts have estimated that the lake has exploded many times, and that it may happen once every 1,000 years. Basically, they believe that this lake is like a bottle of soda that has been shaken up, and the lid could blow off at any moment. Okay, we're officially striking Kivu Lake off our list of dream destinations. If there's a risk that you could be blown up at any moment, we don't think that can count as a relaxing location. Even adrenaline junkies might struggle to enjoy themselves at this killer lake. Mount Merapi, Indonesia Mount Merapi is a fiery force to be reckoned with, the most active of all the Indonesian volcanoes. Its towering peak of 9,737 feet is located near the ancient city of Yogyakarta, home to hundreds of thousands of people and steeped in centuries of Javanese culture. Unfortunately, this fiery giant has recently been quite active, and in 2010 it caused the evacuation of 20,000 villagers and the tragic death of 347 people. Mount Merapi is the most active of more than 120 active volcanoes in Indonesia, and has repeatedly erupted with lava and gas clouds recently. This is due to the fact that Indonesia is situated in the infamous Ring of Fire, a series of seismic fault lines that encircle the Pacific Ocean and are prone to earthquakes and volcanic activity. As a result, the government has declared a prohibited zone in which nobody can permanently stay. We can only hope that Mount Merapi's next eruption won't be as devastating as its last. Yep, this volcano is off limits to tourists, and we have to say, we're totally okay with that. Falling victim to boiling lava is not our idea of a good vacation. We'll stick to the beach, thank you very much. Ramri Island, Burma Ramri Island is the home to one of the most deadly croc attacks ever recorded in history. They are one of the oldest creatures in the world, and considered to be an actual living fossil. But age certainly isn't slowing down this ancient reptile. The saltwater crocodile isn't ready to let go of its title, as one of the most dangerous reptiles in the world just yet. In fact, crocodile attacks are 100 times more deadly than shark attacks. Yep, you better have your wits about you if you are in saltwater croc territory because these guys can grow up to 20 feet long and have an insanely powerful bite, applying up to 5,000 pounds of pressure per square inch with their jaw. If you want proof of how deadly these massive reptiles really are, just take a look at the ill-fated Battle of Ramri Island, which took place on January 26, 1945. Soldiers fighting in World War II retreated to the mangrove swamps, not realizing that killer crocs lurked in the shadows. According to the famous naturalist Bruce Stanley Wright, only 20 of the 1,000 soldiers sleeping in the swamps made it through the night alive. Absolutely chilling. Saltwater crocodiles may look like lazy logs floating in the water, but they are definitely not to be messed with. Next time you board a cruise ship, you better hope it doesn't sail anywhere near Ramri Island. Caminito del Rey, Spain are you ready for a wild adventure? If so, then Caminito del Rey is the perfect place for you. Its name derives from the original name of Camino del Rey, meaning King's Pathway, and abbreviated locally to El Caminito. This incredible walkway pinned along the steep walls of the narrow gorge in El Choro, near Ardales in the province of Malaga, Spain, has been dubbed the world's most dangerous walkway. Constructed in the early 20th century, it has been plagued by disrepair and multiple deaths, leading to its eventual closure in 2000. However, with extensive renovations and repairs, the Caminito del Rey reopened in 2015 and is now much safer. In order to close it, parts of the footbridges were deliberately destroyed. At the time, it was thought that this would discourage people, but seeing the adrenaline addicts continue to use it, it was quickly decided that it should be made safer. For a truly unique experience, you can stroll along the walkways that hang over 100 meters up on a cliff face with stunning views that will take your breath away. Plus, if you're lucky, you can even spot wildlife such as highland birds, vultures, eagles, wild boar, and Iberian ibex. So if you're looking for an adrenaline-filled adventure, this once forbidden location is now officially back in business. Hmm, it doesn't look like our cup of tea, but to each their own. Miyaakejima, Japan Miyaakejima is an active volcano that has had a tumultuous history, to say the least. This volcanic island located around 180 kilometers southeast of Tokyo, Japan, 
has been recorded to have erupted numerous times throughout history, as far back as the Nara period. And over the past 500 years, it has erupted a whopping 13 times, including 5 times since the start of the Meiji period. The most devastating eruption occurred in 1940, when a lava flow killed 11 people. Eruptions also occurred in 1962 and 1983. Then in 2000, the entire island was evacuated after a series of eruptions. Residents were allowed back in 2005, although Mount Oyama continued to vent sulfur dioxide at such a rate that for several years afterwards they were required to carry gas masks at all times. Talk about living in a dangerous area. We're not sure we'd want to risk our lives for a trip to this Japanese island. How about you guys? Let us know in the comment section below. Okefenokee Swamp, Georgia Step into the wild world of the Okefenokee Swamp, spanning an impressive 700 square miles in the southeastern corner of Georgia. The Okefenokee is home to a remarkable and captivating natural history. With the majority of the swamp protected by the Okefenokee National Wildlife Refuge and the Okefenokee Wilderness, it's no surprise that it has been named one of the seven natural wonders of Georgia. Not only that, but it's also the largest blackwater swamp in North America. The name is derived from the seminal Indian word for trembling earth. And this swamp certainly is a mysterious place, but before you go packing your bags, be sure to remember that camping is prohibited without a permit. Open fires are not allowed, nor is feeding or baiting wildlife, swimming in refuge waters, or entering any area posted with area closed signs. Yep, lots of the swamp is strictly off limits. So if you do plan on visiting, make sure to do so only during posted hours, and be sure to leave before closing time. We don't know about you, but we're not sure we'd want to be in this spooky swamp when the sun goes down. Unfortunately, in 2007, a wildfire burned 600,000 acres of the Okefenokee region, with smoke from the fires being reported as far away as Atlanta and Orlando. But the resilient swamp has since bounced back, and the Okefenokee remains an awe-inspiring natural wonder. Would you visit the gigantic swamp? Bloody Pond Hell, Japan in the depths of Bipu City, Japan, lies nine otherworldly springs. Unearthly in color and composition, these springs are unlike any other known. At a temperature of 78 degrees Celsius, Bloody Hell Pond appears to be a boiling cauldron, seething with a mysterious vapor. Yep, Bloody Hell Pond could better be used for cooking than a spa treatment. Its boiling waters bubble and send steam wafting off its surface into the air. Its deep crimson hue is attributed to its richness in iron oxide, and it is believed to resemble a nightmarish underworld. A dark and sinister past lies beneath its surface, as the pool was used to torture and boil people to death since 700 CE. We don't know about you, but we sure are glad we didn't live in ancient Japan. That sounds like an absolutely brutal punishment. Yes, there's something extremely off-putting about this pond. And it's not just the fact that it's literally the color of blood. Consider yourself officially warned, these mysterious springs are not to be trifled with. Blue Hole Red Sea This deathly diving destination is like something straight out of a horror movie. Yep, countless divers have lost their lives in this deep hole located in the Red Sea. Just 30 feet from the beach, amateur divers flock to this mysterious and scary cavern that is a deadly combination of accessible and dangerous. In no time at all, scuba divers can put on their gear and swim out to the entrance of the Blue Hole, a 260 feet wide opening in the roof of the Barrier Reef. This is one of the most famous diving spots in the world, solely based on the fact that it is the most dangerous. The legendary arch of this hole is deeper than 175 feet, further down than any scuba diver should ever attempt to go. The water is crystal clear and warm, lulling divers into a false sense of security as they explore the spooky blue hole. However, the further down you go, the higher the chances are of inexperienced divers running into complications. Nitrogen narcosis is a real danger at these dark depths, impairing your ability to judge what is happening around you, as well as giving you a rush that will make you feel like you can do anything. Perhaps this is what has caused over 130 divers over the last 15 years to succumb to these scary waters. The spot is well known in the diving community, and completing a dive here is like climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. 
Yep, it might be considered an achievement for divers. But be sure to enter at your own risk. There's a reason they call the blue hole the Diver's Cemetery. And you definitely wouldn't want this creepy deep sea hole to be your final resting place. Dalol, Ethiopia The Donakil Depression in Ethiopia is an environment of scorching temperatures, lava lakes, and virtually no rainfall. It's one of the most hostile places on the planet, with an average temperature of 34 degrees and an altitude of 410 feet below sea level. It's not for the faint-hearted. Despite its inhospitable nature, people still make a living here. With the Afar people traveling on camels to collect salt, it's also garnered the attention of paleontologists, who have dubbed the area the Cradle of Humanity due to the discovery of the oldest ever human fossil, Lucy. The nearby ghost town of Dalal is the hottest inhabited location on the planet, with an average annual temperature of 35 degrees. Who knows how many people live in this desolate mining town, but we can guess it's not many. We're sure that even just spending a day out here is a physical challenge. Verkoyansk, Siberia Welcome to Verkoyansk, the most miserable place on Earth. It's 4,700 kilometers away from Moscow, and to get there you'll have to take multiple flights that will take almost two days, not to mention the extreme weather conditions this place has to offer. It is the record holder of the hottest temperature north of the Arctic Circle with 38 degrees Celsius and the coldest temperature in Asia with minus 67.8 degrees Celsius. You'll probably have to boil ice to drink water, and 15 minutes outside can freeze you to death. The dry air is like an invisible giant chimney that sucks moisture off your body, making you constantly thirsty. This can lead to bronchitis and pneumonia. As if all that wasn't enough, only 1,200 people live here now, which is half of what used to be just 15 years ago. People flee in search of better living conditions. And can you really blame them? You'd have to be a seriously committed traveler to make the journey to Verkoyansk. Gates of Hell, Turkmenistan The door to hell, or the gate of hell as it's known, is a natural gas field that has collapsed into a cavern located in Derwiz, Turkmenistan. This poisonous well of gas was first discovered by Soviet engineers back in the 1970s, and scientists immediately warned of the dangers that this newly excavated hole could pose to the people living in the area. It was decided that the crater, which is one of the largest gas reserves in the whole world, would be set alight so that the gases could burn off quickly. However, instead of taking a few weeks to fizzle out, the door to hell is still raging with fire some 50 years later. The deadly orange inferno has a diameter of 230 feet and reaches down approximately 66 feet deep, where the mud boils and bubbles beneath the angry flames. You would think that people would stay well clear of this literal hellhole, but oh no! The Turkmenistan authorities hope that this unique natural phenomenon will become a tourist attraction that draws visitors to the area, and there are no kinds of restrictions or barriers to stop people from peering right over the edge of this dangerous crater. Hmm, there is something quite compelling and almost hypnotic about this infinite fire pit. But whatever you do, don't go into the light. Would you take a trip to the famous Devarza gas crater? Let us know in the comments below. We don't know about you, but we feel like we've just been on the journey of a lifetime, all from the safety of our own homes. We can totally see why these incredible locations are totally restricted to the public. Rules exist for a good reason, people. So which one of these mysterious destinations would you most like to visit if you could? You can let us know what you think in the comment section below. And don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. You can also hit subscribe for more awesome content. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. And see you next time.